Yes, now. We're ready to party. We're ready to party. We're ready. I hope you brought lots of spaghetti because we are about to start the third part, the third episode of Gar Garfield. Garfield, the Garf. The Garf. We're ready to party. The Garf. It's the Garf. Try not to pay too much attention if there are any technical problems. I feel like there's your shadows a, on my a halo face. effect going on. Oh, um, okay, get to the point. Enough. The We've point is. We've already wasted 40 seconds. I have no idea why it's doing that. If anybody of uh, you Ooh, techies out there uh, could tell us why we're having this, where it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I can see uh, my ghost in there. Oh, jeez. My ghost. Ah! Uh, drinking mango seltzer. And I have a... Mm, good. Coffee. Yuck. Do you mushroom. want some? No. Uh, is it mushroom coffee? No, I started drinking regular coffee again. Woohoo! No more rotten coffee. Tastes smells like rotten French toast. Yeah, it does. Have I told you yet the new milk at our school and everyone else agrees with me? Tastes like wood chips. <laughs> tastes like wood. Everyone else agrees with me. It does taste like wood. You you'll have to bring home a little carton of it. And I want to try it. Okay, tastes like wood. Everyone else agrees. We're ready to party. Uh, the reason we're having this very special episode, I didn't even know if I was going to do any more episodes. We're ready to party. We're ready. Is because the Garfield trailer, movie trailer, was released yesterday. Yes. We wanted to critique it a little bit, give you guys our thoughts on uh, the revelation that is Chris Pratt's voice. Uh, Chris Pratt. Do you know who Chris Pratt is? No. Chris Pratt. Uh, he voiced Mario and the Mario movie. Mario That's and the Mario right movie. Now. He voiced the horror Lego guy was in the Lego movie. He does a uh, star. He's Star Lord. Yeah. In the Star Lord movie. Nay. We have a very special episode <laughs> today. Hmm. Because we have some Garfield news. There's hardly ever any Garfield news. Garfield news. Garfield news. Breaking. Breaking Garfield news. There was a Garfield. Breaking Garfield? <laughs> there was a Garfield movie trailer. For yes. The new movie. And we're uh. going to give you our reactions on the <laughs> trailer. Now, we're big Garfield heads. <clears throat> we're big Garfield fans. I don't really have a Garfield head. <laughs> I feel like our opinion matters. Yes. Um, I'm trying to be the next voice of Garfield. You are big Garfield fr friend. Friend! <laughs> and we wanted to uh, give you guys, uh, we, a lot of people were asking our opinions. Jojo had some kids at school say, hey, did you see the Garfield Nobody trailer? said that. Everyone, nobody likes Garfield. Nobody likes Garfield at school? No. Does anybody even know who Garfield is? No! So that's a good point. And now they will. Uh, before we get into the trailer, I guess I always do... Here, let's put the, the color in the background. This episode is green for Garfield number three. Garfield bigger than life. Bigger than life. Garfield says, I'm fat and I'm lazy and I'm proud of it. This is his third book. His third book by Jim Davis. <laughs> Uh, always by Jim Davis. So always never. Yeah, why is that? How come they don't get any other authors to write like a know. Garfield book? Um, wait, wait. I saw some furry, feisty, funny, and fat. He's Garfield, America's number one cat. <laughs> That's a good headline. Uh, oh, Ooh, I, how always, to draw I like, Garfield. I like at the beginning of the Garfield books. They always have like the special page. Uh, that's different than the comics. Yeah. Pasta spotters are his eyes. Daisy sniffer is his nose. Can opener sensors are his ears. Smirk, smirk retainers. Stroking surfaces is his back. Lasagna storage units are his cheeks. See. Hairball catcher. 
This is Dirt funny. Dragger, like right here, like this chair is shredders. this is why people fell in love with Garfield. Stuff like this, not and it's simple. Stripes stuff. now add the personality, not just another pretty face. Not just another pretty face. I am going to read some Garfield Didn't comic you? strips. Oh, Normal comes to visit. Is this the first? Yeah, Alexa. I think this is the first Normal. This when is did first normal, normal first appear? She's not down here. Oh. First published in 1994, it's perfectly normal has constantly been updated for the three anniversary of the <gasps> Not normal, normal. Alexa, stop. Alexa, when was the first appearance of Nermal the cat in Garfield? The first appearance of Garfield's owner, John, was in 1978. Would you like to hear a cat joke? No, thank you. She Aunt, didn't know. So you be quiet. She didn't know. Well, this, I know this is the first one. You, you know this for yes, a fact? Yes, this is the first normal. All right. Meet, no, oh, because it says no. meet normal. Yes. This is, all right. You're right. Okay. okay. Attention, America. I am hereby declaring this week National Fat Week. This is the week for all you fat people to come out of the closet. Those of you who could get into one, that is. Oh my goodness, this is not appropriate for 2023. This is National Fat Week. I want to hear all you fat people say, I'm fat, and I'm proud of it. Louder, I'm fat, and I'm proud of it. You, the pudgy one in Seattle. I didn't hear you. Wait, what's the next National Fat Week thing? Here's the National Fat Week weight height chart. According to this, if you weigh 200 pounds, you should be six foot four. That means if you're under six foot four, you're not overweight, you're under tall. Hey. Well, well, fat brothers and sisters, this is the last day of National Fat Week. Just remember, round is beautiful. Now get out there and eat a chicken franchise. <laughs> okay, let's get into the meat of the episode. Meat. 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 So, before we watch this trailer, let's talk about, we, we never watched the Garfield live action movie, but yeah. in that movie, he is voiced by Bill Murray. Do you yeah. know who Bill Murray is? No. Bill Murray uh, is Peter Venkman in Ghostbusters. Uh, cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. He has this like Chicago accent, and it was he was perfect a voice of Garfield for the movie because he voice or he played Peter Venkman and Lorenzo Music played uh, Peter Venkman in the cartoon. So it was this role swap, and it worked really well. And they both have Chicago accent, and they're both really they have baritone voice, very like depressed character voice and they're very funny comedians they're funny people and for this new updated version the garfield 2024 flick uh they chose chris pratt to be garfield hmm interesting that they chose chris pratt uh he's the hollywood's go-to guy for everything nowadays he's in everything and you can't even watch a movie without thinking in the back of your head Oh, I know that guy from, he was in, oh, he was that. And, and instead, like, it, it being a, a nice, a novelty thing where you're like, oh, he's playing that character because the, uh, he played Peter Brinkman, you know, something cool like Bill Murray voicing him. It's just like, oh, it's Chris Pratt because he was, he's, oh, he's Mario. But he didn't really do a voice in Mario. And now he's also not really doing a voice for Garfield. He's just doing Chris Pratt voice. Why couldn't he at least try why couldn't he at least lower his voice just a little bit? Just just a, a little bit lower. Yeah. And what does Ooh, he do? Strip. Uh he what's his catchphrase in Guardians of the Galaxy? Groot! Don't be doing that. What? What's his catch does he have a catchphrase in Guardians of the Rocket? You're no good. Alright. What is up with that? Look at it! It's so weird! It's, it's obnoxious. <laughs> hey! Ah, nobody has technical 
glitches like I do. <laughs> All right, so we are about to watch. <laughs> We're about to watch the uh, um, the Garfield movie trailer. Lemu, emu. That's Lemu's life. Have you ever wondered what an icon, a legend? Stop a it! Le you okay. hungry little guy. Hungry for the Garfield movie trailer. Mm -hmm. It was just for hungry pun. Uh, shows Gar. He's cute. We're we're gonna give him that. The baby Garfield is very cute. Now I don't know if they're just aping the success of other baby characters in recent years, like Baby Yoda, Baby Mister, uh, the Peanut Planners Peanut, all the baby things. But he's cute. We like him. Oh. Oh. Hi there, little buddy. John Arbuckle does not have a distinct voice. Uh, I'm going to pause it for a second. I'm going to pause it. Uh, we can see here that John Arbuckle has a, a, a nose. <gasps> what do we think of that? Usually he just has that little line. Yeah. Um, I like it. I think that's probably what it should have been all along. <laughs> he just has like a... Aww. You hungry little guy? <laughs> you want a little more? All right. Wait, I'm going to pause it again. Sorry. I'm pausing it again. Um, what do we think of the, the gulp sound? I've heard that before. Is that just like canned gulp? I thought that the, the transition from cute to funny was a little quick. For my, for my taste, no pun intended, I thought that that was a little bit, I, I could have dealt with a little more like cute Garfield like for long, because I like that. And then it's like, okay, he's eating. And that's how I adopt a oh. dog. <laughs> okay, now have you ever been with a play? I didn't like that. I didn't like that. No, okay, so right off the bat, it doesn't even sound, it sounds like it could be like it was edited in from any other movie. <laughs> okay, now have you ever been with a And then they <laughs> have... Okay, I'm gonna say that I, I like the Funkadelic music in the background only because uh, maybe that's like a call back to, uh, is it Lou Rawl? No, uh, Lou Rawl, who does? Well, he's a fat cat, a cool cat. Yes, I think Lou Rawl. Um, yeah, so that's like a call back to that, I think. For John, marry me and cheese. Oh. I apologize in advance. The eating you're about to see will not be pretty. And if you have young children, this would be a good time for them to leave the room. <laughs> okay, there was a little bit of an attempt at Garfield right at the tail end of that. When he says, uh, this might be a good time for them to leave the room. Like, that was like a like very small, minute attempt. Samuel L. Jackson's in the movie. Hey, Junior, this is Vic, my father. Yeah. You ever jump the train? I've never jumped. Here's that stop. Really? Where? Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think he'd see that come? This game. I deserve to be. Color me intrigued. That last tagline at the end. Color me intrigued. That didn't sound like something Garfield would say. If you're living with severe alopecia... Yikes! What do you think? I didn't like the voice. And? I didn't think it sounded Garfield enough. Okay, what about the animation style? I don't know about that. Was that okay? I mean, I guess. 
I thought that the animation style was just like, kind of like, eh, uh, like just look like any other movie. The nice thing about the original Garfield movies and specials was they were hand painted like watercolor backgrounds. And this just looks like a Minions movie or any of those just looks like whatever, uh, like 3D animation. Will we see the movie? Yeah, of course we're gonna see it. We, uh, we're yeah, like obviously. huge Garfield fans. Are you kidding me? We'll see it like the moment it comes out. But are we happy about it? No, I'm did, like, but what else are they gonna do? Could they have gotten a different voice actor to play Garfield who actually sounds like Garfield? Yeah. Get somebody famous to do Jern Jern Urberkel. I don't even know who. Jern Urberkel. I don't even know who they got to be Jern Urberkel. I don't even know who that was. He's not that even Jern Urberkel. That could have been Chris Pratt, and Garfield could have been somebody who sounds like yeah. Garfield. Yeah. John, I guess that's like probably would have sounded. He would have been than good. Garfield yeah, he would have been Chris good. Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah, I would have been all for that. I would have been all for that, Chris Pratt. Our favorite Garfield, uh, maybe not. What? I was going to say our favorite Garfield characters. Oh, okay. Ranked. What's ranked? Name? Okay. Yeah. Number one, Garfield. Yes, of course. Who do you hope will be in the movie besides Arbuckle, uh, Odie, Garfield, and Garfield's dad? I guess is the only one we know. Uh, Daddy, mm. I know you don't like Lyman, oh, but God. like, no, no. It's just, he would look really weird to me because he has always has that, like, lumpy... Mustache? Yeah. Oh, boy. That would be so weird, 3D. You know, it's never too late. You could always get somebody else to re-record all the lines. Just like that Sonic movie where they changed the design completely of Sonic. Maybe they'll change the voice of Garfield. Uh, and that's probably easier than... Um, reanimating an entirely new character. You just have to change the voice. Still time. Um, good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Okay. All right. Jojo brought home some milk for me to try. Yeah, that tasted like wood. I didn't taste it yet. I didn't even really look at it yet. Here you go. All right. Uh, this is what the cow looks like on the cover, <laughs> and he's, his shirt says, I love fresh. I love fresh. Um, Mayola Farms. Mayola, Mayola brand, local dairies, farmer-owned. Oh, um, wait. What? Ingredients. Fat-free milk, sugar, cocoa, pro press, processed with alkali, Cornstarch, salt, natural flavor, carrageenan, vitamin A, palm, palminate, vitamin D3. All right, let's let's just do Alexa. What is carrageenan? Carrageenan is a sulfated linear polysaccharide derived from red seaweeds. It is used as a food additive in jelly agents in various Yikes. products like ice cream, yogurt, and salad dressings. Alexa, dressings. stop. All right. Uh, so I don't know why it's in there in your milk. Um, I don't know what's giving it the wood taste, but here we go. Let's give this a whirl. I haven't had uh, carton milk in 23 years. Hey, look years. at it. Look at the color. It, Ooh. It's busy. Color's the same, like yeah. a light brown. First, it's good. Then it tastes like wood. First, it's good. Then it tastes like wood. <laughs> that could be <laughs> first it's good, then it tastes like wood. Mayola milk. Does it actually taste like milk? Uh, wood? A little bit, Daddy? It does. Yeah. So it doesn't at first, but then yeah. there's like an aftertaste mm -hmm. of wood. Of like, these, probably these, uh, Cornstarch or something. Kicks it doesn't, in. Yeah, cornstarch kicks in. Let me try some. All right. Yeah. There is an aftertaste of wood. 
isn't bad. I mean, yeah, right there. Right there is the aftertaste. So we're going to give this a uh, three. three. Three out of ten. Stars. Okay, let's, let's be real. Why does it need all of these extra ingredients in there? Yeah, our old chocolate Salt. milk actually just had um, fat free milk, sugar, and cocoa. That's literally all it had. All right, so that's not good. Ooh, let's this, see what... this has been a PSA public service announcement. Added sodium. We don't want these additives in our milk. Have a great night. And we don't want our milk to be textured like something else. Bye-bye. <laughs>